As you know, uh, in, in many years ago, so occasionally I meet, I met, you see, the, those tourists, mainly the foreign tourists. Uh, then in the years, say, uh, I didn't have, sort of have this, that kind of, sort of as a program. Then, recently, I felt uh, wherever I go, I always see uh, talking. Uh, the sense of global responsibility. Uh, and then, a religious harmony. Sense of global responsibility uh, means recognize entire seven billion human beings are same human being. Uh, mentally, emotionally, physically, we are same. Uh, <clears throat> Then most important, uh, like myself, uh, I want happy life. I do not want suffering. And that sort of desire rests seven billion human beings. Same. We all have the same desire to achieve happy life and do not want suffering. So that's our sort of basic desire and basic right to achieve happy life. So uh, now the problem, many people Consider joyfulness and sort of pleasant experience very much sort of depend on sensorial experiences. Seeing something nice, uh, enjoy. Hearing something good music, feel happy. Uh, then no longer because uh, of nice, because of that. Uh, a night sight and no what is the uh, a nice sort of music then you may feel boring only memory and of course smell taste and touch including sex is it mainly physical experiences i think i'm a monk so I, I can tell you, I think, the, the sex experience. Uh, oh, this morning, BBC, you see, I always listen to BBC. So this morning, you see, BBC you see, mentioned uh, 5.30 uh, while I enjoy my breakfast. So, so one, one sort of news mentioned Thailand about, uh, uh, about two million tourists. Is it uh, come mainly a nightclub? <laughs> so most of the nightclub, I think, involve sex, isn't it? <laughs> so this, of course, short moment. Uh, biologically, you feel some sort of enjoy, but then soon, too much desire create more problem. Isn't it? Hmm? So, therefore, you see, all sensory level experiences are very temporary. In fact, the materialistic life only concerned about uh, sensory sort of experiences. Uh, so real sort of source. Uh, of joyfulness is very much related with peace of mind. Peace of mind uh, uh, will not come 
only through sensorial subsidy, joyful experiences, short moment. And also, it's our daily experience. We, we, will, we, we can sort of, how say, how say that, realize or test the mentally a lot of sort of stress, worry. The sensory enjoyment will not reduce that mental level suffering. The mental level peace, full of self-confidence and calm, uh, with full inner strength. Then physical level pains can subdue. So mental level experience are much more serious than physical level experiences, isn't it? Yeah. Hmm? So now, the seven billion human beings, I think majority, they want peaceful life, but pay much attention only material value. So it is important to make known where should know ultimate source of happiness, joyfulness is on mental level. That mental level sort of source, biologically we equipped. Not come through medication or prayer or something like that. No. From childhood, we have the, also the, the source of affection there. This is a biological factor. Look, dogs, cats, birds. Now springtime, birds are very busy making nest, nest, and also they enjoy sex. <laughs> As for reproduction, reproduction. This is nature sort of process like that. So we monk almost against nature. <laughs> <laughs> but long run, you see, celibate, well, celibate life really can maintain our mind always steady. Uh, uh, married people or people Day people, yes, short period, uh, very, very enjoy, very happy. And that, uh, then soon, too much anger, too much suspicion, too much jealousy. So mind, you see, too much ups and downs, isn't it? So uh, monkhood, or these nuns, uh, the monks, I say, uh, our way of life, long run, very good to keep our mind 